Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MLA format in Microsoft Word Online. Now, your menu in Microsoft Word may look a little different than mine if you're using a Word program that's been downloaded to your desktop. I am using Word Online because as Dallas College students, you have access to this program for free. If yours looks a little different, just email me and I'll help you walk through what you need to click on to set up your paper. Okay, to get started, for MLA format, we need to make sure we're using Times New Roman 12-point font. So we're going to click on the font here, go to Times New Roman, change the size to 12. Now another thing we want to change from the very beginning is the document spacing. MLA format requires double spacing. So we are going to go to our spacing menu. There's a few different ways you can get there. I'm going to go up here to the paragraph menu and click on line spacing. Now instead of just clicking to here, I do want to pull up the full menu. So I'm going to click on line spacing options. I'm going to change multiple to double. And I'm also going to change this eight here to zero. I'm going to do that so that Word doesn't add extra spacing when I hit enter. Then I'm going to hit OK. Now I can start typing my MLA heading. The first thing you're going to type is your name. You'll hit enter one time and type your professor's name. Again, enter one time. This is where you'll type your course and your section number. So whatever the number is of your specific section there. After that, you'll type the date. Um, and MLA format uses the international um, standard for the date. So you're going to put the day first. So today's the 28th. We'll do the month followed by the year. Okay, so that's the only stuff that's going to go up in our heading. Notice I didn't type this information in our header where it will duplicate on every page. I just typed it directly into the main part of the paper so it only appears on the first page. I'm going to hit enter one time before typing my title. Notice I only hit it once. I do not want any extra spacing before my title. My title needs to be centered, so I'm going to go to the alignment tab here and change it to centered, and then I'll type my title. Again, I'll hit enter only one time. No extra spaces after my title. I want to put my alignment back against the left margin. The beginning of every paragraph needs to be indented, so I will, I will hit the tab key on my computer one time, and it'll give me the proper indentation. So here is where I will start my essay. Now, the last thing we want to do is put in our header, and that's where our last name and our page number are repeated on every page of our document. So to do that, I'm going to click on this header tab at the top right here. I want it to be aligned to the right. I'm going to type in my last name, and then I'm going to insert a page number. Don't just type one, um, because then it'll put your last name and the number one on every page. You want it to put your last name and the proper page number. Okay, um, so it should look like this because it will count as your paper goes. Now I do want this to be in Times New Roman, so I can also click here and change my text. Now, once I'm done with the header, I can just click anywhere else in my paper to go back to my paper. Um, you won't see your header until you save the file and it's submitted on eCampus, but you can always click here to make sure that it's there. All right, if you have any questions, always contact me. Thanks.